Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my postpartum essentials. So currently I am 33 weeks, almost 34, and so I've been like preparing all of my essentials that I used my last postpartum phase. <laughs> so I have this basket here um, that just sits in my bathroom and I just wanted to talk about all the things that I used last time because my recovery with my first was a bit rough so I actually pushed for three hours and I had severe swelling severe bruising and an episiotomy so I had stitches so with all of that not gonna sugarcoat it it was extremely painful and a super tough recovery obviously everybody's is going to be different but that was just my experience and i just wanted to share my products that really helped me with that so getting into the video i am going to start out with my number one most like favorite product ever i don't know if i've talked about this before on here these honey pot postpartum Pads. I feel like it almost sounds dumb because it's literally just like a pad, but it it was the number one thing It gave me the most relief ever. So pretty much I thought that I had some opened. I'm gonna open it Show you what they look like it literally just looks like a pad you would use on your period These aren't just like plain regular period pads Although they stick like you put them on the same way you would as a period pad But these ones are infused with mint lavender and aloe. So they are very nice and cooling and healing pretty much i'll show you you open it up and you put witch hazel or water i prefer witch hazel i suggest using that because it's an astringent and it'll help with healing but if you don't have that you can use water so you put it on you fold it back up and you put it in the freezer and you have to freeze it i think for like at least four hours and then it's kind of similar to if anybody's heard of like the homemade pad sickles i know that essentially the same thing you take like a pad and you add like aloe and witch hazel and stuff to it but these are already pretty much done you just add the witch hazel and freeze them i know i'm rambling about this product but it seriously is like my favorite one ever find these at target maybe walmart i'm not sure i usually get them at target but they really 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 help also i'll have everything linked below i'm sure they're on amazon that's probably where i'll link them so my next favorite thing are these ice packs. Now, I actually didn't use these specific ones, so I will say I did use the Freedom Mom instant cooling pads, instant ice packs, whatever they're called. These are essentially the same exact things. So they were just a little bit cheaper. Actually, they were they were more expensive, but you got more of them for like a better price, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I just found these on Amazon and I actually already tried them out because I've been having pregnancy pain and it pretty much does the same thing. There is one difference that I noticed though. The Frida ones have a paper that you take off the back so it can like stick into your underwear this one doesn't so i mean it didn't go anywhere it still stayed in its spot pretty much they are just ice packs so you don't have to put in the freezer so the second you need them you can use it you fold it in half or you take it out of the bag you fold it in half shake it up and then it's like instant cold ice and it's all broken up so you're not like sitting on chunks of ice so I remember my hospital had ice packs that were like actual ice. It was the most uncomfortable thing. So I'm bringing these to the hospital and I will be doing a what's in my hospital bag. I could probably do that like next week because it is almost packed. I know it's early. I just needed to get it out of the way because I have so much stuff to do. So anyway, be on the lookout for that. If you're wondering, these will be in it. So the next thing is this. What is this called? A peri bottle, that's what it is. So the next thing is a peri bottle, which looks like this. This is the Frida Mom one. I had this one last time. You just fill it up with water and after you go to the bathroom, you spray yourself because you cannot wipe. And I'm pretty sure, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure if you have a C-section that you also aren't supposed to wipe. I think this is a must. The hospital does give one, but it doesn't have this nice little angled thing, you know? It's just like a regular like squirt bottle. So I don't have mine from the hospital last time, but I am gonna use this one and the hospital one. And then I also got another one which i'll have both um this and the other one linked below I like i'm like talking with this <laughs> but the other one is like again the same thing but i found like a cheaper dupe on instagram so or i found a cheaper dupe on amazon i need to put this down so i stopped talking with it <laughs> um the trees are starting to get little buds happy spring also it's april which is crazy it's my last month being pregnant my last full month I'm doing me. I was gonna say, even though the hospital most 
hospitals will give you one i recommend having a couple at least two so that way you can keep one in like different bathrooms or keep one in like the diaper bag so if you are on the go you can clean yourself after going to the bathroom but it's not something that i thought about and i remember I mean, luckily I was just at my mom's house and I was able to find something there to use, but definitely keep one like in your diaper bag for when you're going to baby appointments and if you have to go anywhere else. Yes, okay. Moving on. Next thing is a little dusty. The next thing are these tux pads. I feel like everybody kind of talks about these for postpartum essentials and I agree they should be part of your postpartum essentials. Um, So these are actually for hemorrhoids, which I didn't even have after my first, but still just like putting these kind of in the pad you make your whole entire thing you know you got like pads and foams and sprays and everything these are just medicated and they're cooling and they give a nice cooling effect definitely help with the healing i know the hospital gave like some sort of pads like these it wasn't this brand i think it was i don't know but they did give something like this but i ran out of those next time i, I did really like those ones better honestly so i am gonna ask them if they have more so that way i can bring them home little tip is if your hospital is giving you stuff for free put it in your bag and ask for more <laughs> because i mean most of the time they will give you more this thing right here was a lifesaver for me so like this and then uh, it self inflates and this is also the frida brand so this thing i had never heard of before i did not know this existed and after i had my son i literally could not sit on my butt it hurt so bad to sit and i'm like how can i like how am i supposed to do this i can't even sit on the couch i can't sit in the car on my bed like everywhere was so uncomfortable and i remember texting my cousin and she told me to try sitting on the boppy so that way like the middle is down we have our boppy here like just sitting on here so that way your butt is kind of like in the center and it's not actually like touching anything but i guess i have a little butt and i just fell right through the center <laughs> so my cousin she then told me about this freedom mom perineal cushion i think that's exactly what it's called so it self inflates you don't have to do anything except twist this little thing and it'll inflate just a little bit and the middle i know you can't really hear you can kind of see it there it like goes down in the middle and it's like perfect you can bring it in the car use it at the table when you're eating wherever and i literally brought this everywhere with me i don't care if i look like a crazy person bringing on a cushion but i needed this i could not sit without it i will say it was 40 dollars. it was a little bit expensive but for me it was worth every penny so i would suggest maybe not getting it <laughs> until after you have your baby and then if you think you need it just because it is so pricey but i mean you could always get it too and then not open it and if you end up not needing it just return it that works too but random but i don't have them with me because i didn't get them yet but i did want to mention the depends um underwear i'll have them here they're the depends adult diapers i know it sounds so nice and glamorous but <laughs> i really like them i feel like everybody is so different when it comes to like the diapers and the mesh underwear or just wearing your own big underwear i really like the diapers because they have a lot of heavy bleeding afterwards and i just felt like they were the easiest to just put everything in it absorbed a lot and then just throwing them out like to me that was easiest but everybody finds like you know their own thing so i do recommend them though at least getting one bag to try out the last thing is dermaplast now i left this for last because i did want to say i didn't actually use this so i can't really say if it's like the best thing ever or not but a lot of people did recommend it and i don't know how i didn't know about it but i swear everybody talks about it so i got some for this time i thought i would just include it in case anybody else wanted to include it in their essentials kit so so anyway it just says for pain burn and itch so i mean i can't see this not working i guess it kind of numbs everything a little bit so that is it for this video i hope you found this helpful and i hope some of these products help give you relief during your postpartum experience i hope that nobody's is too terrible so if you got to this point in the video thank you so much for watching and i hope to see my next one bye guys <laughs>